Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy frequently touts a rags-to-riches story on the campaign trail, declaring during Wednesday night's debate that his parents immigrated to the U.S. with nothing, but public records and Ramaswamy's past writings paint a more nuanced picture about his upbringing. I'm not a politician, Ramaswamy said during his opening remarks at the Fox News-hosted debate in Milwaukee. I'm an entrepreneur. My parents came to this country with no money 40 years ago. I have gone on to found multi-billion dollar companies. Later in the debate, while discussing his support for school choice, Ramaswamy said he didn't grow up in money. It's a narrative the multimillionaire millennial often uses to connect with voters on the campaign trail, while also attempting to differentiate himself from former President Donald Trump. Before the debate Wednesday, Ramaswamy sat down with ABC News and said that unlike Trump, he actually built the companies from scratch. I didn't inherit anything, he said. I built the companies from zero to nothing. My parents came to this country with no money. Ramaswamy, 38, was born in 1985 in Cincinnati to V. Gunapati Ramaswamy and Geetha Ramaswamy, who were upper caste Tamil Brahmin in India. Both parents were highly educated professionals in India before they moved to the U.S. and started a family. Ramaswamy's father held a graduate degree in engineering from the National Institute of Technology, Calicut, when he immigrated to the U.S. in the 1970s. In his 2022 book, Nation of Victims, Ramaswamy wrote that when he was in sixth grade, or about 11 years old, his father had been working as an engineer at General Electric for the past 20 years, or since about 1976. Two years after their marriage, Ramaswamy's father earned his PhD from the University of Cincinnati while still working at General Electric in 1985, according to details in his father's dissertation. That same year, Ramaswamy's mother immigrated to America, and Vivek was born that August, followed by his younger brother Shankar. Stay tuned by subscribing to Fox Geo.